Hungry. Are you ready? You're filming now? Yeah, let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Let me wipe this stuff off my face. I got one for you. Do I have one for you? First of all, that chicken's good. All right, this is the deal. First of all, welcome to Flat Top King. Second of all, everybody knows that the um, Mexican pizza from Taco Bell is coming out soon. I've gotten, oddly enough, a large amount of people asking me to make it. So we went to the grocery store the other day and we bought the ingredients to make my twist on it. Well, during that process, I told my wife, I said, I think that I can do better. She said, how do you make it better? And I said, I just want to completely change the ball game. You guys stay tuned. All right, if you're unfamiliar with it, the Mexican pizza um, is basically the tortilla on the bottom, a fried flour tortilla. Are they having a drag race? It sounds like they really are, actually. It is a drag race, I bet. What the heck? We don't even have roads that go that fast. Ooh, I wish I was a police officer. I wish she was over there and just mm, nab them. That's where my kids go to school. All right, so this, so this is the deal. Fried flour tortilla, right? Refried beans, the seasoned ground beef, another tortilla, taco sauce, cheese. You basically bake it, fry it, melt it, you know, just heat it up. And then you add a little diced tomatoes on top. It's pretty basic and simple. To be brutally honest, I don't like the dang thing. My wife loves it, and I think she used to order it all the time. The last thing on the menu I would order was the Mexican pizza. I'd order everything else but that. That being said, let's, can we go back to mine, right? I said, I want to change the game. What am I all about? Just taking something here and going there. So let's flip the pizza upside down, dang it. Here we go. The white version, right? Not all the heavy reds and browns and all that stuff. Let's think about like white and green, spring fresh. Rotisserie chicken, okay? We're gonna fry the tortilla. Now all of a sudden we got white beans. We're gonna smash them ourselves and make our own refried beans. Then I'm gonna reduce down some green salsa and some enchilada green uh, chili sauce. I'm gonna reduce that down. I'm gonna make it thick. Almost like the idea when we did the Italian um, smash burger or pizza the burger. pizza smash burger. In the chicken, we're gonna add cilantro. We're gonna add uh, green chilies, green onion, and cream cheese. cream cheese, okay? Then over top of that, once I put that sauce over that second tortilla, I'm gonna hand grate some good pepper jack cheese. That's gonna be the melting part. And then we're gonna to top it all with that avocado. Do you guys see what I'm talking about? How we changed it? Let's go. All right, the pit boss is preheating. The first thing I want to do is start reducing that sauce. It's going to take some time, okay? So first, we just got our salsa verde. Let's see. We just picked out our favorite kinds. I'm just eyeballing it, just guessing. Come back in with green chili enchilada sauce. About equal parts and just let that go. In this bowl right here, I'm just gonna drain the beans. I have no idea how much moisture it's gonna take. So, I'm just gonna add the beans to here. And save the juice. You can always add the juice if you need it because I don't want my beans too thick. Why would I not just get refried beans? Honestly, I like them, but we've been doing this for a long time when we have our uh, Mexican nights and stuff. And I love making my own refried beans. I just like the texture way more than this. I like it a lot more chunky. So that's why I do it. All right. And they're way more flavorful because we true. add all the goodies. That's true. All right, I'm gonna use the Southwest barbecue rub. I know it says barbecue, but it's definitely got more of the, the Mexican style tang to it. And I'm not gonna overpower the beans. I'm gonna let the beans speak for themselves, but I just wanna enhance the flavor a little bit. About that much. We can always add. I'm gonna add some onions down to try to get some flavor out of them. Try to get that char. That's where we're gonna add to the beans. I might not have mentioned it in the ingredients list, but that's the idea. Let's get some char on the, on the onions.
This is how I make the refried beans. It's extremely simple. Just start smashing, okay? You're just looking for consistency. See how soft they are? They're already cooked. And this is obviously my first time trying the white bean method. Pinto beans we do all the time, but. That looks good to me right there, what do you think? See, I like them chunky. If you guys don't like them chunky, keep smashing and smashing and smashing. I ain't gonna hurt my feelings. I ain't gonna taste them. Mm. That's a perfect substitute, taste this. Oh, it's hot, hurry, hurry. Oh, that's hot. It's hot on the hand. That's good, mm. right? That's oh, a good dang. substitute, I told you. Those are super good. I told you. All right, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get some chicken pulled off. I'm gonna dice some cilantro, some green onion. I'm gonna cut my avocado. I'm gonna grate the cheese, get all the prep work done so you guys don't have to see it. All right, you see how nice and thick that sauce has gotten? That's what I'm talking about. Now remember, that's for two different, uh, two different uh, pizzas right there, okay? So look how thick that is. That's a good consistency right there. As for the beans go, when I was doing my rotisserie chicken, I went ahead and cut up some of that chicken skin that came with it. It was already reduced down. That fat had rendered out, but you know what I'm talking about. Like if fat is flavor, we just added chicken skin to the onions. It's just all about flavor. Not a lot of juice, just a little bit. And that's the juice from the beans. Yes. That we kept. Let's see what we got now. Yeah, I like that. That'll work. Perfect. See how pliable that is? That's mm. good. So that's just mashed up beans, Southwest, onions. Southwest seasoning, sauteed onions, and a little bit of chicken skin for extra flavor. All right, I know it looks like a mess, but this is the idea, okay? We got some rotisserie chicken. Basically, I got half a chicken right here. I'm gonna eyeball everything to our liking. Some green chilies. Maybe a little bit more. That's probably about a half a can. I love cilantro, so I'm going a little bit heavy on cilantro. Some green onion. Come back in with maybe with like a, a third cream cheese. And we're just going to mix this together. All right, the flat top's on low. Uh, I'm going to just uh, lightly oil it. It's almost like the idea of a shallow fry. Just keep rotating and rotating and rotating. We're eating healthy today, so we're using the low carb. We use these a lot, and she did not want to waste. We got some really good videos coming up, too. I mean, some good videos. Really good. I with, mean, some. With lots of carbs. <laughs> yeah, so this is the one that we can do without it. Listen, there's been a lot of speculation going back and forth. I kind of opened a huge can of worms in one of my videos. I'm going to use uh, metal utensil in my pit boss until otherwise. But if you're going to do it, you have to do it at your own risk. I'm going to address a little bit more deeper when we do the uh, another video coming very, very, very soon. Pros and cons of each griddle. And I can have more time to explain it there. But a lot of people have asked, is there somebody out there that uses metal? Uh, what if we use metal? And I thought, heck, I'll do it. What the heck? So, but you have to do it at your own risk. You're just trying to flatten it down because sometimes they get really big air pockets. So you're just trying to make it golden brown all the way around. All right. All right, that's the color we're looking for right there. So I'm going to take the bigger one. This is probably pretty important when you make a Mexican pizza. If your tortillas are not the same size, definitely go with the bigger one on the bottom. You can imagine what would happen on the other way. So I'm going to go with the bigger one right here. All right, what are we doing? The cheese, the bean mixture? Which is fantastic. Now she asked me, what does the chicken mixture taste like? So I, so we tasted it off camera. It is a light tasting uh, flavor. It's like light. The cilantro really comes through. Um, but the beans have a lot, lot, a lot of flavor. And that's why I didn't want the to overpower with the chicken. Because um, I don't like everything tasting the same. So... Obviously, you're going to add as much as this stuff as you like. I love beans, so. 
All right, there's the idea for that one. Come back into this chicken mixture. And we did actually end up adding half of the block of cream cheese. Good point. We added yep. more cream cheese. I forgot about that. I told her four times I was going to tell you guys. She said, don't forget, don't forget. And I forgot. You could just eat that chicken mixture by itself. <laughs> it's really good. Like a Mexican chicken salad. There you go. All right. Woo! Right on the dome rack. Now this is going to thicken up too. I mean, uh, this is going to thin out a little. It's going to thicken up when it cools, but I've been cooking so long that it's actually cooled down some. So I might have to add a little bit more. See how much went out. So to give you an idea, that literally is about half and half, and I'm going to have to reduce more. Now that is the Fiesta Pepper Jack cheese, yep. which is super good. Yep. Instead of making two and finish the video, I'm going to reduce this down. We're just going to finish the video with one of them, do the taste test instead of having two of them. Woo! Look, our sauce is already starting to reduce. Look at that bad boy. I just got a little cilantro and green onion just to go ahead and top it off. Got some of that diced avocado. I don't know about you, but when I say I love food and I love thinking outside the box and I love to do things my way, I've always said since day one, food is so subjective. It's perspective. It's what you want to eat. And this is what I want to eat. Oh yeah. You ready? Who doesn't want to eat that? Hear that crunch? So if somebody says you can't get crunchy with low carb, that's not true. Somebody says you can't get lucky after making one of these pizzas, that ain't true either. God, let's see. Mmm. This for all those people out there that like a chicken Alfredo pizza. My dad loves them things. Mm. When you're smiling right away, you know it's good. The beans. Oh my God. And those beans are only like four ingredients if you count the chicken skin and the onions. Oh, I forgot about the chicken skin, yeah. Yeah. Mm. You ready? Uh-huh. Oh. 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 Oh my God. You gonna feed it to me? This might be one of the top five things I think I've ever made. Ever. That is saying a lot. If you look at the category, we're not talking about sex or anything. I know you made Here. the absolute best freaking steak two days ago. Mm. Now be honest with them. Mm. They don't don't oversell it. <laughs> mm. The beans. Mm. But you taste every mm. level. You taste everything. Nothing is overpowering and every, all the flavors work together. Mmm. That is, that's fantastic. That's you, like a gourmet Taco Bell pizza. That's legit. <laughs> that is 100% legit. I would pay for that every single time. I would go that, out of my way to eat that. I would I, go out of my way to drop somewhere to have somebody make that for me. That, and that's the ultimate goal. Yep, that's stinking good, baby. Let's have another bite. <laughs> now this is, what? Golly, that's good. When somebody tells me to make something, I take it to heart. I might not make it right away, or I might say, mm, but when something gets on my mind. Golly, it's good. I, okay, wrap it up, time to eat. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, find us at The Griddle Group on Facebook, share your ideas, and maybe your idea can be put on here. Peace.